is this Shazamicon? Let's try this again. Much better. We're here at the WonderCon 2019 chatting with the cast from the DC Animated Universe. Check it out. Michelle Noel here from Geek Rock TV over at WonderCon 2019. And joining me right now is legendary voice actor from the DCU Animated Universe, the Cape Crusader himself, Mr. Kevin Conroy. Hi. Hi, I'm Michelle. Such a huge How are fan you? Of your work. Thank I you so much. I can't believe this is the first time I'm meeting you after Thank all these you. years. This is like really Where weird. Where have you been? I don't know. It's like every time I'm here, I'm like, oh, never mind. Uh oh. I but anyways, um, you're here to promote Justice League versus the Fatal Five, so congratulations for Thank reprising you. your role. How is it like working with the gang again? It's so great to come back yeah. to the crowd with Susan and George, Bruce Tim yeah. writing. I mean, everything about it was just great. And uh, it, what's amazing is after 20 years, everyone just kind of fits right into the characters yeah. again. The know. relationships pick up. It's like seeing an old friend where you pick up a sentence, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, that, 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 that from 20 years before. So that was exciting. But what makes this film more interesting is there are all these new characters yeah. that come from the future. Awesome. So Batman is even more of an outlier than he was in other, other wow. films. He's always the outlier, the okay. outsider. But in this one, he's very much an outsider. Interesting. So what can you tell us about Batman in this movie? And does he have like any influence on Starboy or Jessica Cruz? Well, it's complicated with Starboy because okay. he's almost responsible for Starboy being in Arkham in the first place, and he shouldn't have been. Okay. So the whole point is to get Starboy out of Arkham. Okay. Um, it's a story that involves Arkham, which I think the fans are really going to love. Yes, okay. Awesome. What's the overall message? What is the message that you want to send out to your audience about this film? What's the overall theme? I think being true to yourself. Yeah. Being true to yourself. Okay. I have a few questions about you being Batman. What kind of action do you think Batman would take in the world today? What would what action what, would yeah, he? What, what kind of actions do you think Batman would take in today's world? In today's yeah, world? Yeah. What would he do? What would he take on? He would. He would be a unifier. All right. We've become so divided, yeah. so tribalized. Ooh, like Everyone's that. gone to their corners. Isn't that weird? Batman would definitely be a unifier. He would find a way to build community. Wow. That's because that's the biggest yeah. thing we need right that now. That was predictive programming right there. Do you think Batman thinks that, um, uh, do you think Batman is Batman because of the villains or because Bruce Wayne wants Batman to stay around? Well, I think the most interesting thing about Batman, the shows, yeah are the villains, let's mm -hmm. face it. That's They're true. the most incredible yeah, villains. They're the color of yeah. the show. Um, and Batman wouldn't be Batman without the Joker. Yeah. They define each other. They're like the yin and the yang for each other. True. Um, so I think that the villains have been as much a part of Batman as, as anything else. Interesting. You've been the most beloved, iconic um, Batman of all time. What aspect of your performance do you hope future voice actors will take on when taking on this Batman role? What advice do you have for them? I hope that, well, every actor has to get their own hook into a character. Yeah. Every actor has a unique way of getting into the character. Yeah. That's just something you learn. Um, for me, one of the tricks was that Batman is not the performance. Bruce Wayne is the performance. That's a good point. Batman is who he became yeah. the moment he saw his parents shot. Yeah. He went to this dark, dark, dark place. And he just, you know, went into this deep, dark world. Mm -hmm. So that when you do that voice, it doesn't sound like you're putting on a voice. That has to be the natural sound. That's true. And then Bruce Wayne is yeah. the suit he puts on for the day to go and work at the office. Everyone has two faces. Yeah. Everyone has a public face and oh, a yeah. private face. That's just part of being a human being. That's true. His, his public face is Bruce Wayne, and his private face, his true face, is Batman. So that would be my advice to any actors. Same character. I love that. Last question. Batman is celebrating his 80th birthday, and we've been invited to the Wayne Manor. How are you planning to celebrate, and what would you hope to cheers or toast to him? Wow. I know. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Well, I'm not a drinker, okay. but I will be serving the most <laughs> incredible champagne to all of you guys. Oh, I'll take it's it. It's going to be a great champagne reception for oh, Batman's 80th. I can totally see that now. Gosh, thank you so much, Kevin, for joining us. Sure. Folks, be sure to catch Justice League versus The Fatal Five coming to you on digital March 30th and Blu-ray on April 16th. Kevin, thank great. you so much for joining us. Thank you. Shazam!
hell of a good time. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and hopefully we'll see you guys next time. I'm Michelle Noel from Bye. Hey, you rock!